Hi guys, thanks for checking out another TM Hair Products video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to detangle and style my daughter's hair in a protective style. The holidays are coming up, so I wanted to get a jump start on some cute holiday hairstyles, um, but a protective style, so as you travel, you don't have to do much to the hair. So protective styles are the way to go when traveling for the holidays. Now, she had a previous bun, and I'll link the video to this hairstyle if you have not already seen it she had a previous bun so all i'm doing at this point is just removing the braids at this point i don't um, um comb her hair at all i just remove the braids and let her hair separates wherever it's going to separate naturally and at this point i use my hands i don't use a comb if i don't have to because your hands are the most gentle tool you have so at this point I just use my hands but if I have to use this comb of course I will also guys do not forget to follow us on social media we have something very big coming up and I keep mentioning it because I want you guys to follow us on social media and I want my subscribers to be the first ones to know when this surprise happens so it's a very big surprise guys so follow us on social media so you can be a part of it all of her braids are removed now, and I'm going to detangle her hair starting at the nape. I always mix with water to loosen up her hair, and then I add the smooth through detangler to her hair starting at the roots because her hair tangles more at the root. So I just put a dab on the root, or however um, the amount I add is according to how big or how thick the hair is and how tangled the hair is. So, um, as I move along, I lightly mix with water following the same steps, adding the detangler to the root of her hair again. Now with this detangler, guys, this detangler is very concentrated and it is truly a detangler. So start minimal and work your way up from there. Start with a smaller amount and then if you need more, apply more. But make sure the hair is coated. As you can see, her hair is pretty coated. And that's where the knots and tangles are just sliding out of the root of her hair. And do not be afraid of a fine tooth comb. As long as the, the, your hair has enough slip to it, the fine tooth comb will be fine. Her hair has been detangled, shampooed, and now we're going to reapply the smooth through detangler as her deep conditioner. And as you can see, I don't overly saturate her hair because now we're going to deep condition her. So we, I'm going to put her under the hooded dryer um, for about 20 to 25 minutes and let her hair deep condition. And that's an important step in protecting, protective styling because your hair is going to be tucked away for an extended amount of time. So you want, it, you want to have a healthy and good foundation from the beginning. Now that her hair has been rinsed, I blow dried her hair and I parted it from ear to ear more toward the back not in the center toward the back and i'm carving out a heart in the back of her hair so the first step is to part her hair down the middle and then part a c shape but kind of with a heart at the bottom i hope that makes sense more like a heart at the bottom but a kind of a c shape at the top until you you'll start to see the heart forming so then you can go in and fix it now you can make the 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 depth of the heart at the top as deep as you want to, but I didn't want mine too deep. And this is such a cute protective style, but I couldn't do the front like I wanted to, guys, because she kept falling asleep. So I had to simplify the front, but this is a very cute protective style, very cute for the holidays as you travel to go see your family. It, it was very cute. I really liked it. So I may do another variation of this style. Now, after I parted off the heart, as you can see, there's still hair on the side. And because, as you know, we are trying to still protect her nape. So I'm going to take the heart and cross them over so I can, I can catch the nape of her hair. And I know that doesn't make sense now, but you'll see it a little later.
And on this, guys, try and make your carts as clean as possible. So you know it was a struggle for me. Now, once I finish parting off the hair, you guys know I am team pre-part because that makes it so much easier. So all I've done here was parted off each section of the heart and put, put it in little rubber bands very loosely so that when I go to braid it, it's already parted evenly. Everything is already done and that helps me out a lot. So if I can pre-part, I always do. As you see here, it makes it very easy. I'm going to be using the Perfect Assist Styling Aid, of course, to moisturize and style her hair. Because it's going to be in a protective style, it's going to be up for a while. So I need something to keep her hair moisturized and protected because I don't do anything to their hair once I finish styling it. You guys ask that a lot. I don't go in and retouch it. I don't go in and add oil. I don't go in. I don't do anything. I made it. Use a little bit of the styling aid to lay down their edges and tie their hair up. But for the most part, I don't do anything once the style is done. And it's such a beautiful day outside, you guys. I'm sitting outside, so I don't know. You may hear birds or cars riding by, but I'm sitting outside because it's such a nice day out. Now, as you can see, I've braided her hair and I'm going to start the last part of the heart and I'm going to connect it and bring it around. And it's going to go around the bottom of her hair where that hair is loose, where she's a hair picker. You guys know I'm still working on her um, picking the back of her hair. So I try to keep her hair caught up. And I'm using the feed in method because I want the heart a little fuller the outside of the heart a little fuller, but not too full. And as you can see, I'm doing the feed in method. And I always add the perfect assist styling aid because synthetic hair can be drying to natural hair. So I just add a little bit to my fingers as I braid. As you can see where I crisscrossed the hair at the bottom because I wanted to catch up her nape. Now that is the um, heart <laughs> of the style. That's the part that I wanted to show off. Now, because she kept falling asleep, I couldn't do the front like I wanted to. So I just braided the front going in like so and put it in a bun. It still turned out cute, but I may do another variation of the style because I wanted to do something a little different to the front. If you guys have any questions, Leave them in the comments below and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.